Best-selling author Michael Lewis has been called America's funniest serious writer. His new book is Panic, the story of modern financial insanity. And he's here to talk about it. Good morning, Michael. Good morning. So you chronicled information on the five most recent financial crises in our history and came up with this. Yes. Well, you know, um, I worked on Wall Street in, there in the mid-80s, and it was the beginning, really, of this a process, I think, that we're coming to the end of now, this period of incredible financial turmoil. And, and you know, with stock market crash in 1987, the, the internet bubble boom and bust, the, the collapse of long-term capital management that supposedly threatened capitalism as we kn knew it, and now we've got the subprime crisis. When you and, studied these, what was the common thread? Well, at the bottom of it all is financial, essentially a financially unsustainable behavior in this country. I mean, it, it is, it's, it's people borrowing lots of, first the government, and then individuals taking on more and more and more debt. And in a way that it just, it, it's, it, you know it's not going to end well. That there's essentially kind of an insecurity at the bottom of the financial system because people are behaving in a way that they, can't, they cannot sustain. If it sounds too good to be true, it is. Yeah, right? you know, it, well, well, yes, eventually. And now, but now I think we've come to this terminus. I mean, it, this is different than the other panics. They, they, we, were, we, we were weirdly lulled into this sort of weird sense of uh, security because they, as, as tumultuous as the financial system has been, it never really seemed to matter very much. Right. And, you know, they, they, we we always came back. We always came back. And in, in, in fact, I think part of the reason we came back is that um, the Federal Reserve pump lots of money into the system to bring us back, which led to another bubble, the, the housing bubble. But this, this bubble is, I mean, it, it's different from the other ones. I mean, this is something that we're not, we're dealing with kind of essential insolvency here. Mm -hmm. and, and so there's going to be a real sorting out. I think we're going to this period in history that is unlike anything any of us ever lived through. It, it, it may not be called a depression, but I think psychologically it will be experienced as such because it will be, for the first time in the lives of a lot of people, of, 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 of grown-ups, they're going to experience uh, a, a financial decline, a serious financial decline. What do you think about all these bailouts? Everybody wants a piece of it. Well, they don't really make much sense to me. Uh, I mean, I, the, historically, I, like, have, have they you know, worked? Like the automobile companies. Mm -hmm. I, I'd rather give the $10 billion to you than to GM. Yeah, I'd rather you give it to me, but, too. But, I mean, we give it to GM, and they, what are they going to do? They're just going to make cars, they continue to make cars people aren't going to buy. Uh, well, that, that's not what they say. That's, but but, but the, the, you, people don't change unless they're forced to change. Right. And what they're doing, it's like an enabling an addict to give them money. Uh, the, 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 in the banks, it's even... Uh, it's a little weirder. I mean, they, they, when the Treasury asked for the $700 billion, they said what they were going to do with is buy bad mortgages. Then they got the money and said, oh, we're not going to do that. Right. In a matter of weeks, they said, we're not going to do that. Or we're going to invest the money in the banks. Now, I guess the idea is you, inv you give the money to the banks so that they can make smart loans. But the criteria for getting this money is to have been a bank that made so many stupid loans that you're basically bankrupt. <laughs> and so it doesn't seem like you're giving it to the, even to the right people. Uh, now... There's something to be said for doing something. I mean, that, but that, it should be the right thing. But it should be the right thing. And I think it, it's probably a good thing that a new administration is coming in and they can clean up someone else. It's sort of, they're now in the position of cleaning up someone else's problem rather, mm -hmm. than, rather than their own. I think it's, they, they may be a little bit more integrity to the process. Right. Well, uh, hopefully they can learn from our past mistakes and from reading your book. Uh, Michael Lewis, thank you so much. Thanks for having me.